Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough and we're going to continue on, um, yes we are ready, uh, basically we found a secret bazaar and yeah we basically I thought that it was going to, there's a secret exit and I thought it was going to actually give us the exit, um, take us to the end but it took us back to the beginning and it like treated it as if we'd fainted but we didn't lose items so like that was just my fault for being silly um, or misinterpreting what was being said um, but I don't know how you guys interpreted like let me know how you interpreted in the last episode because like honestly I, I, I had no idea that was gonna happen um, but we're gonna we're gonna give this another crack uh, we're definitely gonna try our best to get these uh, Uh, trying our best to get through tree shell forest, which shouldn't actually be that difficult. Like, I mean, we're not running into anything particularly strong, um, and we're already on the fifth floor after like a minute. Um, don't know because it's flash fire. Don't use that on flash fire. Um, and there's. Don't do it. There we go. Tree shell forest, sixth floor. And what we're we doing? What are we doing? We're playing a game. <laughs> uh, there we go. So we're on floor seven. This really is not taking that long. Oh gosh, that was um, what's going on? Was false. Uh. I'm surprised this isn't Monster House. This is normally a Monster House kind of situation. Oh, wrong button. Cast form, not cast form, routes. Can't believe how much damage that does. There we go. Wow, we're getting through here. Quick, actually. Look. Tenth floor in like two and a half minutes. Like, wow. Um, I don't think it's going to be there. No, it's not. It's there. That's good. So we're on the eleventh floor already. I remember there used to be a trap called a pitfall trap, which was kind of cool um, because, um, like, you'd stand on it and then you go, f like, if you stood on it again, you go through it, and you would lose 20 health, but you would also go to the next floor down, which they they were only in dungeons where you're actually going down. Oh my god, that's getting super high special attack now. There we go. Um, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, um, right, team, I can't change his tactics. Get away from here. I'm just going to beeline for the stairs. Yeah, you know what, actually, I, I'm, I'm going up these stairs. Like, I'm going up these stairs and I'm going back down these stairs. Gosh, that was, um, emotions. <coughs> yeah, we'll do that. So I'll let you do all that healing whilst I blow my nose. Oh, literally, like, four and a half hours, and I'll be on a train. And I will be, hopefully, heading home. Which I'm, like, excited about. Um, let's change Pyro's tactics back. Um, no, I don't want others. I want team. I want Pyro. I want tactics. I want let's get together. So we're gonna go here. Let's 
See, this looks like another Monster House situation. There you go. There we are, so we're on 13th floor. We are going to use Water Gun. You're going to use Leaf Blade, that's fine. Going to Water Gun again, okay, that's going to miss, that's fine, that's not fine. Fury Swipes are scary. Midnight is now level 33, which is very helpful. Not really, it's just a level. What would be helpful if that was a Reviver Seed. Um, yep, there we go, next floor, 14. Uh, let's go down. And there we are, so we're on floor 15. I can imagine this will probably be the last floor. <laughs> There you go, that's gone. This nine tails needs to go immediately. Well, we didn't take it on one. Oh, I just realised that's Pyro's evolution. I, I don't know why I didn't. Well, I don't. There wasn't really like. Uh, it wasn't a mind blowing moment. Oh my god, it's, it's more than 16. Um, there we go. So we're going to come down here. Uh, well, this is the only way we can go currently. Ow. No, you burnt me as well. That's not nice. There we go. That's gone. Do a finding these stairs nicely. Nope. I was going to say, do we actually get inflicted by burn? Shower Forest 17. There we go, that curly is down. Now 18th floor. That's kind of. That absorbed a lot more damage than I thought it would have done. Um. This has got quite a few floors on it, actually. I'm surprised I haven't had to eat anything yet. There we go. Grove, I'll use quick attack on it. No, that's. Oh, actually, no, let's go round down here. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's use water pulse. I could use bike. But, um, I decided to use water bottles instead. There's stairs. We've got more than 20 floors. Well, this, this might, I think this will be the last floor. Ow, that hurt. There we go. It's all 20 floors done. Deep tree showered forest. Well, what is this? Mm, sorry, I need to stretch. <clears throat> Time. Is it a standstill here? But didn't they? Just before we were dragged off to the future graveyard. Didn't you see his friends make a promise? Did they return to the time gets to their rightful places? But time has stopped here. That means time gets may not have been put back in the rightful places yet. We'll see about that. The first time gets was over here. Oh no, it's there. But what's this? Is this a time gear? There's no mis mistaking it. But time here seems to have stopped. That isn't even a breeze. See? Those leaves are fixed there. Time has really stopped here. But the time gear is back where it should be. But why is this happening? 
He took the time, gear. He took the time, gear. Hey, what are you doing? The time has already stopped here. It won't make a difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that more worrying. No more worrying? Forget it. Let's leave. Also, Pyra, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before you go back to Shabby or Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. In Treasure Town? Yes. Here's what I want to find out. Learn everything you can about what's happening in the world right now. Sure thing, I'll go find out. Everyone thinks you've gone to the future, therefore. I know. If they found out I'm back, there would be an uproar. I'll keep low and get some news. I'm counting on you. My screen is a little bit dusty. I'm back! I've got some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is not very good. After we were sent to the future, you see your friends those friends put the time gear back in the original places. Everyone was happy because they thought time would return to normal. But time stayed stopped in some places. Even worse, it's spreading. Time is stopping more and more places. Is that true? Yep. Everyone's upset because no one can tell what's going on. Grover? Grover! Do you know what that means? If time is stopping in the spreading area, then only need one thing. The temporal tower is starting to collapse. Temporal tower is collapsing? Correct. Temporal tower gives structure to time, so if it's starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in an ever winding area. This is bad. This problem is accelerating. The planet's paralysis is coming on fast. What? What? We have to hurry. Yes, that's right. If we don't hurry, the planet will become fully paralyzed. There's only one way to stop the discretion of time now. We need to gather time gears. Then, the time gears will be put in the place of temporal tower where Dialog lives. But there is a problem. Temporal Tower is located in a, a place called the Hidden Land. As the name suggests, no one has knows where the Hidden Land is. But there isn't any sign. That's right. That's why I think we need to split up for now. I'll go collect the time gears. In the meantime, I want you to search for the Hidden Land. Okay. Is that okay, Midnight? Okay then, you're in charge. The Hidden Land is supposedly somewhere in the world. Unfortunately, there are no clues on where it is exactly, considering that no one has discovered it yet. We should probably assume that it is quite far away. We might even slid across in the sea. De discover the means to do so. Across the sea? I'm sorry, I don't have the knowledge about how to do that. I'm counting on you. Well, I'll be off to gather the time gears. Good luck. Now, we should go searching too. Let's find the hidden land. So, where should we begin looking? Um, as a start, why don't we think about how we can cross the sea? on the back of a Sharpedo. Well, we just happen to be here at the beach, so... Hmm, this isn't working. A way of crossing the sea is not coming up with anything. I said we searched for the hidden land, but... Where will we even begin looking? We have to hurry too. Ah! It's true, we've got little information to go on. We need to, there's no time to waste. We need to look at the hidden land as soon as possible. We need to find the temporal tower. Uh, if we fail to do so, power will become paralysed. We have to stop that whatever it takes, and to do that well, we have no choice. We need everyone's help. That's it. I'll tell Pyra. Mm, what is it, Midnight? Let's go to Wiggly Tuff's Guild. Pardon? You want to get to Wiggly Tuff's Guild? Well, why? We managed to find everyone, remember? Well, sure, I think everyone's really worried about us, but... And I miss everyone, too. But everything we saw in the future... Everything about Grandpa, about Dust Noir, and even about the past Midnight... If we tell the people in the Guild... How can they believe us? What do you think, Midnight? Do you think everyone the, the, build, the guild will believe us? They'll believe. You think they'll believe us? Well, you say that, Midnight, but is there a chance they'll believe us? I mean, everyone in this world is convinced that Grifar was a villain. And they think Dusnoir is a really good Pokemon, right? Everyone especially respects Dusnoir. I saw the future, but I still didn't want to believe the truth about Dusnoir. If we tell everyone the truth, I wonder how they will accept it. It's true. The pirate is saying it's true. Maybe no one will believe us if we tell them the truth, but... Pardon? We should tell them anyway? Well, why? They might not believe us, right? Yes, just tell them. Well, why? Why do you think so, Midnight? We need everyone's help. Everyone's help? I get it. There's no way we can get the hidden land on our own. We need everyone's help. If we don't get their help, we'll run out of time to prevent the planet's paralysis. 
Midnight. Okay, you're right. Let's get home to Weekly Tusk Guild. Let's get back to the guild and tell everyone the truth. I can imagine that everyone will be shocked, but I'm sure they'll understand. Let's go home, Midnight. Back to Weekly Tusk Guild. I just realised I need to do some packing this afternoon. Um, but this is like episode six, I think. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth episode I'm recording today. Um, the guild's crew. Here we are, Midnight. Weekly Tusk Guild. It feels like we haven't been here in a long time, but now that we're here, it feels kind of awkward to go in. After all, we did vanish in front of everyone in a mysterious way. It would be sort of forward and even embarrassing to walk out in out of the blue. No, we can't go around acting embarrassed now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay, I'll stand above the sentry post. Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... The, the footprint belongs to... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond! Respond! What? Hey, Diglett! Where do you think you're burrowing off to? That, that footprint. It's Pyra. What? Oh no. Um, what? What? It is Pyra. And Midnight too. Diglett, long time no see. Why well, what is that? Oh, we're getting bombarded. Hey, hey, it's true. Oh my gosh, it really is the Iron Pyra. You're both alive. We worry so much about you. Oi, oi. I was. By golly. Everyone, we're home. I want to trim like all of this, because look how long it's getting. It's just... Ugh. Welcome home, Pyra Midnight. Where's Chassel? Chassel didn't come to hello. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on a second. Let me get this story straight. Okay. Ahem, let me summarize your story so far. First, Grandma is actually a good Pokemon. And we can listen to the time gears to save the world. Yep. And the great Dustamar only pretended to be kind of helpful. That was actually a highness and a wicked villain. Yep. Though I didn't realize... Really phrases the highness and wicked. I'll say my dad was really Grover's partner. Yep. So that's not so does not I want to get rid of both Midnight and Grover. So he took them to the future. Yeah, and me too. Then you managed to escape from Dustamara by the skin of your teeth. And you barely made it back home for the future. Yep. And finally, this land will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grover started collecting time gears again. Meanwhile, you two were looking for the a place called the Hidden Land. Is that the story in its full entirety? Yep, that's all of it. <laughs> Pyramid Knight, you must have had a bad dream or something. What? What? Why didn't you two just go to your room and get some rest? Now, hold on a second. Are you accusing us of lying? What? We just told you was all true. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure the two of you are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. That's not it, Chatot. Please believe us, we're not lying. That's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that is remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land. I'm the head of intelligence here, and I've heard of no such place. Besides, the Great No Dust Noir is far too kind to do anything like that, you alleged. Well, yes, I couldn't believe the truth about Dust Noir either. It was a huge shock, and it was really hard to accept. Thus, I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say. The Great Dust Noir, the villain, that's simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anybody seriously feel the great Dustnoir is a villain? We hold Dustnoir in high, high esteem. We cannot believe it. See? 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 Everyone shares the same opinion. But... Hmm? What is that some Flora? There's something I don't understand. That time. When the great Dustnoir was about to return to the future. Two sort of farewells. Oh no, I'm just gonna add like speed through this bit because we've seen this all before. Like, admittedly, it was like eight, seven, eight episodes ago now, but. What does not it then? It was strange, anyway, you looked at it. 
Really? Don't you think? Don't think so. Don't you think the pyramid I found is a dimensional hole by accident? No way! That's my grab pyramid I yanked him in! Hey hey, that's right. It looked that way to me too. Hey hey, what happened was really weird. Gosh, I really had to wonder why that's why I did something like that. If the pyramid is true, then what does someone did suddenly make sense? What? Wait a minute. So is this what you think now? Are you actually saying that you'd now believe Pyro and Midnight are claiming? Now I'll just pull out one of my hairs from my chin. <laughs> um Well, what's your answer? Uh I believe them. What? What did you say? Tell me off. You're not claiming that the Great Dasar is a villain. Oof. Golly, I surely didn't think highly of that great Tesla. I surely did think great highly of that great Tesla. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way, but there's something more important here. Yup, yup, Midnight and Pyro are more important. That's why I believe what Midnight and Pyro have to say. What, what, what? Midoof. Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too, oh my gosh, there. I'll kill colleagues after all. I'll call fish some flora. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Passing down on our colleagues is wrong. Dress as a mass. Mark. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you for believing us. Well hiya. Sounds like we all agree. We all believe our friends, that's great. Let's begin our search for the hidden land. Well hold on there, good master. Hmm, what's wrong? We're not in agreement yet, are we? Huh? We're all good with the story. But I suspect Chatot isn't convinced. Oh, was that all? But you didn't need to worry about Chatot. Chatot is convinced, right? Because Chatot believed the horror story all along, right, Chatot? <laughs> what? How peculiar. Well, your master, there's no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believe Midnight and Pyro right from the start. But if I would have said that, I'd leave them right away. Everyone just gone along with what I said. Oh, that's cut. Like, I don't know. That's why I was so contrary. I want to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, lovely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. <laughs> I don't know if that's a load of bull or if that's uh, true. Midnight Pyro, I believe you. You're my good friends and guild membership. Now listen everyone. Time to time is stopping in more and more places. From Pyro's story, we know the world is in danger. This means that we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of the Test Guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll hook it to discover the hidden land. Let's do everything everyone. Chat out. Yeah, yes sir. Okay everyone. From now on we're shifting all efforts in the fight in the hidden land. We'll also let everyone know what's happening in the world, our world. It's going to get busy, we're all going to have to work hard. I sure will. I hope I'll pad it down to Treasure Town. Uh, okay, I'll go to... Well, that will have to from the other snow. They might, stop, they might try to stop Grover. Hey, hey, I'll go to them. Okay, everyone. Search for the land, please. Yeah. Bit of some flora. And others. Once your errands are done, go gather, gather information on the land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hint. Yunta. Hooray. Alright, let's show some guts. Hey, hey, hey. But it looks like this. Oh, I'm sorry that I don't have any information on the land. Maybe. The boys talk the town elder will know something. Talk the town elder? That'll be the wisest and honest. That'll be the wisest of one in the town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him in the hot spring. Oh. I remember. My goodness, is that the water you carried all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring water all your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea, we'll do that. Thanks, everyone. It's him. It's a nice old Pokemon we met. We should put a year's of wisdom to you. Go, go ask Toko for advice. I think we got to the hot spring the first time we went through Waterfall Cave midnight. Let's go, off to the hot spring. But first... It's getting late, and besides, you must be hungry. Huh? 
My stomach growled. Haha, <laughs> yours did too. You should have dinner. Let's get a good night's sleep. Then we can all work tomorrow. Hey, midnight's better than you go. I'm not going to read this bit because it's just basically everyone's hungry. Right, so it looks like we're now finishing this episode off. I know it's been a little bit longer and I'm now stressing because I don't have time to record all my episodes and they're going to be this late. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. So I hope you've had a good one and I will see you. I just stood on something. Okay, um, oh no, like, I'll do this up to the save point then, okay. Uh, it's been a while since we've been back in this room. It feels as though I'm finally home, you know? I'm glad everyone believed our story. I got a little emotional over it. Let's get me talk on tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back to it tomorrow midnight. Right, we're ending off there. So, uh, it's not letting us save. Um, but yeah, let's end off here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, etc. I'm going to get off here, so I hope you have a good one, and I will see you soon.